I'm your host, Logan 23. You're joining me for Royal Hair, book two, chapter three. Welcome to the world. You're standing in the throne room, ready to present Amanda to Cordonia. We can't wait to meet the Royal Hair. Excuse me, I just have one question for you, Queen Riley. Why are you wearing that? Wearing what? That uh, unconventional servant's attire. You look down. This? I must have forgotten to change. Wanted to show how down to earth I am. I am most certainly dreaming right now. Right? Darling, it's time. Time? To introduce Amanda? Reach into the bassinet and pull out a wrapped bundle. Here we go, Amanda. Turn Amanda to the crowd. Behold the royal hair. What's going on? Is that some kind of weird joke? You look down in your arms and... Oh, uh... Oh, a cute lizard. Is this really expected to rule Cordonia? What did you do to our baby? Where is she, Riley? Answer me! Riley. Riley. Uh. Good morning, Sleepy. Were you dreaming? Dreaming? Um... Just promise me if Amanda's ever replaced with a lizard, you won't blame me. I don't know what that's about, but uh, I would never blame you. I hate to wake you with how tired you've been. I wouldn't uh, would have let you sleep, but we should uh, be getting ready for the presentation ceremony. Believe me, I'm glad you woke me up when you did. I want to get Amanda's big day right. I can't believe we're going to be sharing our Amanda with all of Cordonia and the world. I'm sure they'll love her just as much as we do. You climb out of bed and link your hand and with Liam's, draw him towards the nursery. <coughs> Nakey baby. Amanda, you're awake, and you seem suspiciously pleased with yourself. <coughs> you pick her up from the crib and catch her in the unmistakable whiff of a very full diver. Oh, God, yep, yeah, that's, that's poop. I'll look at this. Now with the uh, the last of the umbilical cord all cleared up, and she's, uh, uh, had a very productive night. Maybe, uh, now's a good time for her first real bath in her little tub. First bath. This is gonna be so cute. I'll go, go set it up. And I'll handle the dirty diver. Greening, you pass Amanda to Liam and hurry from the nursery to set up the bath. Soon you find yourself juggling several items while flipping pages in the parenting book. Okay, what do I need? Two towels, check. Baby safe shampoo that's been vetted by Dr. Ramirez and the King's Guard 2, check. I'm nearly certain that Bastien inspected everything personally. Hmm. And last but not least, Cuddly Tubbles Royal Baby Bath. Okay. Now, we've just got to get the water temperature just right. To command in your arms as Liam starts filling up the special basin with water. She stirs and starts to fuss. <coughs> Don't cry, sweetheart. You're gonna love bath time. Ah, <coughs> uh, the water's still too cold. Just keep her distracted for a few more minutes, seconds. Okay, how about we sing a fun little song to get ready? Just for you, Amanda. It's time for soap and bubbles and... Dry towels and snuggles. You cuddle close to Amanda and she giggles as you kiss her cheek. It's time for warm, warm, warm water. It's time to clean my daughter. <laughs> Water's ready. Settle Amanda down into the bath and carefully wash her. She's so tiny. Our little baby. I'll splash Liam. Gently wash Amanda. You scoop up another handful of water and rinse off more soap bubbles. Look at us, huh? We're doing it. You did a great job. <laughs> and Amanda thinks so, too. Uh, last step, washing her hair. This seems hard. I believe in you. We can do it. Oh my god, it's washing a baby. You squeeze some baby shampoo in your palm and reach for Amanda. <laughs> oh, don't look so sad, Amanda. Bath time is fun. Hey, look, Amanda. 
Look at my goofy face. Wamp wamp wamp. Well, Amanda is entertained, you shampoo her head. She beams up at you, giggling at the strange sensation of bubbles on her head. Oh, look at you. Beautiful. I'm going to remember this moment for the rest of my life. Wait, it's too cute to just be forgotten someday. Do you want to take a picture? Liam wraps an arm around you and reaches to touch Amanda's cheek with his free hand. Our oh, family is so important. I don't want to lose a single moment of this. This is a chance to take a unique photo of Amanda and her first bath. And this is a chance for Pixelberry to make some money off of you. Let's do this. Run off to grab your camera, hurry back, knowing that the moment won't last long. I'm here, I'm here, don't let her move. It'll be easier to stop the sun from rising. You struggle to line up the shot. Come on, Amanda, look at me. Liam sees what you're doing and goes to stand directly behind you, hiding behind your shoulder to capture her attention. Where did Daddy go, Amanda? Where did Daddy go? <laughs> here he is! Daddy! Oh, there's a shot, get it! Okay. It's a baby. Look at her, our angel. Liam presses a little kiss to the side of your head. She's really something special. Liam. I love our family. Me too. It might be a little chaotic at times. He catches a floating bubble that's drifting away from Amanda's soapy head. But it's absolutely worth it. Absolutely. I know we uh, could have had the royal staff give Amanda her bath, but I'm really glad we did it ourselves. I know I'll never forget this. Now, let's get Amanda out of there before she gets cold. Liam scoops her out of the bath and you help wrap her in a baby-sized towel. Liam pauses for just a moment to swoop in and press a kiss to your lips. Hey. You know I'm crazy about you, right? I'm crazy about you too. And Amanda. I can't wait for the kingdom to see us all together. But uh, we should probably get dressed before we're late. For someone so tiny to wash, Amanda takes a while to bathe. Especially when you people want to take selfies with the baby, yeah. I'm ready to start getting ready. Cuddling Amanda in her towel, you head into the Duchy's boutique with Liam to find something to wear. This is our first time back in the public since your birthday, Amanda. That calls for something special. <laughs> Amanda wriggles in your arms, her attention drawn to a cute dress and matching jacket. Our daughter has a good eye. If that's your way of asking me to try it on, I accept. And look, it looks like the dress has a coordinating baby dress, too. After you get dressed, you'll have a chance to purchase a special matching dress for Amanda. Cordonia's Darling, a simple but stylish dress for your return to the public eye. Still think the pink is better than this, but I like the blue. Ah, <sighs> fine. Two diamond choices in less than a minute. Just because you like it, Liam. I suppose power comes with some privileges. Anything for the king. Liam steps closer and presses a loving kiss to your cheek. Should we put Amanda in something special? This is her official presentation of the world and the press. A tiny baby dress, as in real outfit that's not just a bunch of blankets? Exactly. <laughs> Liam holds the dress up, and between the two of you, I'm oh quickly get a man to do it. Oh lord, a third diamond choice. Oh, help us. She's adorable. There's nothing wrong with that one either. The things I do for you people. It's too cute to pass up. It is objectively perfect. And I think we're all set. Let's go say hi to Cordonia. Why didn't just both dresses come in one diamond package? Serious question there. Later that morning, a motorcade takes you to the royal palace. Hundreds of citizens are gathered at the gates, waving and cheering as you drive through. Princess Amanda! Princess Amanda! How many people came to see our little baby? Let's hope the attention doesn't go to their head. I think she's actually falling asleep. Let's wait until she sees the rest of her adoring public. This is the only the start. Members of the King's Guard, keep the crowd at a respectable distance as you step out of the car and head inside. Where an even larger crowd of citizens and reporters awaits, there are dignitaries from Cordonian all over the world. 
News cameras swivel towards you and photographers snap pictures as you walk in. You weren't kidding. Queen Riley! Oh my god, Queen Riley's finally here! With Princess Amanda too. Why does she look like the Jetsons character? Like, very cartoony. And the two of them are practically peas in the pond. What exquisite outfits! The sheer noise of the snapping cameras and crowd rouses Amanda. She blinks sleepily, raising a curious chubby hand towards them. This crowd is huge. Ah, uh, we've got more than just a Cordonian press here today. Looks like a lot of international reporters came to cover this as well. As everyone awes at Amanda, your eyes fall across a troop of Avernese soldiers minding the crowd. The citizens nearest to them cast them an uneasy glance. I guess I should have expected to see them too here. Our Avernese guests insisted on providing extra security. Right now, they're just watching the crowd. We shouldn't let them upset our girl. You nod and carry Amanda to the dais, where your friends are waiting. All of them grin at the sight of you. Glad you guys made it. You've got one hell of a crown. Apparently the public missed us. Anna pulls you and Amanda in for a hug. Oh, you all look lovely. Now that you're here, we can officially get this party started! Liam clears his throat and steps forward to address the eager crowd. Thank you all for coming. It's good for us to see our people once again. And as uh, I'm sure you've guessed, we have someone to introduce to you. Smiles and gives you a nod as you step forward with Amanda. Everyone? Bow before your future queen and ruler of this land. She will dominate you in more ways than one. It's our honor to introduce Princess Amanda to her people. And she's very pleased to meet you. Welcome to Cordonia, Princess Amanda. The crowd erupts with cheers and the bells begin tolling throughout the palace. I think we have time for a couple of questions before we attend today's royal council meeting. I got one. First of all, King Liam, Queen Riley, uh, congrats on your beautiful baby girl, but from the bottom of my heart. Thanks, Donnie. Has Cordonia's hair been happy and healthy so far? A resounding yes to both. Congratulations for all of us as trend as well. Could you tell us about the first time you held a little Amanda in your arms? Anna? Just pretend I'm making keyboard smash noises with my mouth. What? I don't get it. Anyway, it was the best moment of my life. I found so much happiness since I came to Cordonia, but the moment the doctor handed me our little girl, I've never been happier. I couldn't have said it better myself. Congratulations, Your Majesties. A Larkin Ando from the international media outlet Globe. Well, I didn't see that one coming. Parenting can be a lot, especially the ri raising of a princess. What's it like having a royal baby depending on you at every moment? Like any other parent? Question mark? These are really stupid questions. Building this family with Riley, it's been the greatest honor and pleasure of my life. No amount of sleepless nights or diaper changing could possibly dampen my enthusiasm for my girls. Honestly, Amanda makes every moment worth it. I've already forgotten what sleep feels like. It could be terrifying. Uh, Amanda. No matter how tired my body gets, my heart is still over the moon about being a mom. I'm so happy to finally be with Amanda. Liam lovingly squeezes your hand. We do our best to take it all in, Straw. As long as Amanda's happy... And then I'd say we're doing all right. What a lovely sentiment. And now we must be moving on to the ceremony. Wait, one more question, your highness, if you would. Yes. Julia Riviera from the Avenues Express here. Avenues like, from Avernal? No, Maxwell. Did I stutter? Oof. Or Maxwell can reply, the reporter thrusts a microphone towards you. Does the council have any updates on Duke Godfrey's whereabouts? This is Princess Amanda's presentation ceremony, not a press conference about Godfrey. Sure, but he's the biggest elephant in the room. Are you telling me you don't have any updates on the missing duke? People in the world need to know. Looking, locating Godfrey is the Royal Council's top priority. We intend to discuss our progress thus far today. And what progress is that? Surely you understand that we can't reveal anything yet. For security reasons, of course. Mm, I suppose... Now, if you'll excuse us, the Queen and I have uh, even more people to greet. Holding Amanda close, you enter the palace ballroom and find it full of Cordonia's nobility. Everyone turns, smiling and applauding to see the new princess of the realm. Oh, look at her! Hi, little Amanda! 
I've been LB, and everyone, wow. Thank you all for coming. Can I hold her? I promise I have lots of experience holding small wriggling bodies, though they're usually covered in fur. That's a good point. Pass Amanda to Penelope, who coos and gently bounces the baby. Oh, who's a happy pupper? I mean, er, baby, you are. Just don't feed my daughter any doggy biscuits. She is beautiful, you two. Congratulations. I can only imagine such an honor as to parent the hair of Cordonia. Merci, Bercoup. C'est moi que vous remercie. Okay, on Olivia's turn. Look, Amanda's reaching for you. Me, right now. Oh, you're wearing blue for once. <laughs> Manelope places Amanda in Olivia's arms. She's so light and fragile. Try not to throw her like a dagger. Olivia? Looks like you're ready to babysit. Maybe someday, when she's ready to study the blade. As you glance past Olivia and Amanda, your eyes fall across Madeline. Toward the edge of the crowd, she immediately breaks away from your gaze. Excuse me for a moment, Olivia. Or, yeah. Stop! Come back! Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Make your way across the room, Madeline watching you every step of the way. Queen Rylan, congratulations are in honor. I hope Princess Amanda will someday be a ruler unlike any Quadonia has ever seen. Thanks, Madeline. I... I guess I didn't expect to see you here. What, due to the fact that my father is a wanted murderer? Bastien spent an extensive amount of time investigating me and didn't turn up anything suspicious, so I've been allowed in today. I know you're busy, and to be honest, you shouldn't be seen talking with me for too long in any case. But I just want to say I'm so sorry for what happened to the last apple ball. Not only did my father rather rob your husband of his mother, he also endangered your life and the life of your newborn daughter. I just... I truly am so sorry. Madeline... You're not responsible for your father's mistakes. You're your own person. Most people here may feel otherwise, but I appreciate the sentiment. Ah... Uh, what is it? In the past, our positions were all once reversed, and I was unkind to you. I had no reason to expect any kindness from you, so this means all the more to me. Madeline touches her heart and looks down. Thank you, Queen Riley. I'll let you get back to it. You feel a soft touch on your arm and turn to find Liam holding Amanda. I think it's time to introduce Amanda to some new friends and allies. Eh? Are you ready, Amanda? Because it's time to get those dimples out. Eh? Perfect. Now we're ready. Queen Regina and Prince Leo approach you from the edge of the ground. Congratulations, my dear. It's great to see you and this little princess. She's lucky she takes after her mother. I like to think she's got the best parts of both of us. Lima embraces Regina in a warm hug and does the same with Leo. Allow me to introduce Princess Amanda of Cordonia. Hey. She's got a ways to go before hello, so consider that her way of saying hi. Bertrand and Bartholomew approach you, smiling warmly. Congratulations! I'm sure you've heard it again and again today, but you deserve it. That means a lot. We're, uh, finally joined the club with you and Savannah. You two, I wager, are VIPs when such club being the parents of a royal heir. Right now, we're just happy she has all fingers and toes, and that she sleeps occasionally. That's all any parent can really hope for at this stage. Lorelai and Zing Hai Lee step up at the Balmonts, respectfully make room for them. Congratulations, King Ra Liam and Queen Riley. What an honor. We heard the princess had an eventful birthday. It's good to see you all doing so well. Thank you. Thank you both. Yes, thank you. Now the princess Amanda has finished her formal introductions. Would it be alright if I held her? Oh, of course. Lee passes Amanda to Regina, who... She coos down at the baby excitedly. <laughs> She's so little. I never got to raise a newborn of my own, you know. You're a natural. And now it's your turn, Leo. Ah, uh, me. Yes, you can't tell that Princess Amanda wants her uncle. Leo carefully takes Amanda in his arms and she beams at him. See? She's happy as an apple in the orchard. 
Yes, I could do this all day. Liam, Riley, you two both look like you could use a break. Why don't the two of you get out while we watch uh, Amanda for you? Date night? Never really gotten out of the house since Amanda was born. We do have a little time before the council meeting. Should we steal a moment away together? This is your first chance to have a date with Liam. Oh, go on a date with Liam. Looks very quaint. As long as our daughter's in good hands, I never turn down time with you. Well then, let's go. A short drive later, Liam leads you into a small hole-in-the-wall restaurant tucked away in the capital's oldest district. The food here is some of the best in the city. I think it looks sweet and smells delicious. Oh, your highness! Welcome back! Follow me! As you walk through the empty restaurant, you see a closed-for-maintenance sign on the door. This restaurant is open, right? A trick of the train. The royal family has been coming here secretly since I was a kid. We found that it's easier to keep the tabloids and gossips away if we feign plumbing issues instead of announcing our royal guests. A very clever ploy that's made for many happy memories here. Let me say that it's an honor to serve the king and queen of Gordonia, and congratulations on your little princess. Thank you. We feel quite blessed. Well, I won't keep you from what you're really here for. Please have a seat. Our head chef will be out to start your entree shortly. The waiter gestures for you to, to use the table where the chairs face the chef's preparation station in the open rustic kitchen. Oh, so we get to watch the chef make our food? It's like a dinner and a show. I thought it would be a nice way to enjoy the meal. Liam, what did you used to come here with? What's your favorite dish here? It's hard to choose. When I was young, it was definitely their savory meat pies. They'd be hot and bursting with spices. But everything's wonderful. This place boasts the best and freshest Cordonia fare. They change the menu every season. It's uh, always delicious. But I can't wait for you to taste it. I can't wait for me to taste it. A pleasant-looking woman walks up to the station and starts prepping ingredients for what looks like to be a promising lavish meal. Why is she always associated with being a chef? For the love of God, Pixelberry, pick someone now. It takes literally maybe five minutes to animate a new face. It's not hard. Good evening, your majesties. I'm a chef, Mira. I have a special dish for the two of you. I hope you'll enjoy it. And Liam watch Chef Mira mix eggs into a mound of flour on the counter, expertly crafting together a soft dough. Is that fresh pasta? You make creating the dough look so effortless, Liam. I've had a lot of practice over the years. Would you like to try your hand at it? Gamely, you and Liam nod, and Chef Mira sets out a bowl of flour and eggs. The two of you puzzle over them. Well, clearly we mix the flour and eggs together, but how? You take the flour and pour it on the cutting board. Chef Mira laid out for you. Make a well out of the flour. Like this. You tunnel into the flour until it forms a shallow well and put the eggs in it. Very clever. What can I say? You married well. Yeah, she used to work in a restaurant after all. I would never argue otherwise. Well, it was kind of like a bar or restaurant, but eh. Together, you and Liam make turns folding the mix together until you make a dough that is only slightly lumpier than the chef's. Very good, your majesties. This will be perfect. Now give me a little bit. You sit back and watch Mira work. A short time later, she places one large bowl of pasta with a delicate herb sauce in front of you. You've tasted. Mmm. This is perfection. How can a dish make me feel nostalgic while having it for the first time? I think that's a little nostalgia in any good home cook meal. And uh, this pasta is truly excellent. If you're pleased with the meal, I'll leave you to enjoy it, though please lift a hand if you need anything else. You smile at Liam as she leaves, and the two of you feed one another, trading bites of delicate, delicious pasta. I can see why you love this place so much. Yes, it can be difficult to find authentic, traditional meals that'll nourish you through and through like this. I could get used to this. I could learn to cook. Oh, so home-cooked meals at the palace every night, then? If you wish it. King and cook. Isn't that a bit much on your plate? Pun very intended. It's an undertaking, but cooking is a form of love. It'd be worth the time. Oh, Liam. You're making me wish I could cook more. 
You're doing plenty already, Riley, and considering a man's current affinity for milk, I have plenty of time to perfect my methods. You know, these past few weeks with a man, it's in spite of all the parenting books, seeing friends with children, and it's still nothing like I imagined. It's all consuming, even more so than wearing the crown and the constant concern for her well-being. It's a lot. And at the same time, it's kind of strange to be here without her. Honestly, I keep wondering where she is. It's so weird that neither of us is holding her right now. Not bad weird, just weird weird. I know what you mean. I've been resisting the urge to cull, but I know she's in the most capable of hands. Next to yours, of course, anyway. You laugh a little, blushing. I must say, I admire how quickly you adapted to this new role, Riley. You're a natural. It's almost effortless. Well, I would hope mothers know what to do. Thank you, but it doesn't feel natural and effortless at all. How does it feel, then? I think it's more... Intense than expected, terrifying. It's been amazing. I just wasn't ready. More intense. It's just non-stop. My head spins thinking about it. I'm so, so lucky to have an amazing husband to help me through all of this. Liam reaches across the table and takes your hand. Forever and always, my queen. Now we know that Amanda's happy and healthy, I want to know that you are too. After this date, definitely. Hard reset on my stress levels. As you finish your plates, sheer waiter returns to the table. All done? Yes, and thank you for the wonderful meal. Please, send our highest compliments to the chef. Of course. Thank you so much for dining with us. See uh, your majesties. See you next time. The waiter winks. Liam leaves a generous amount of money with a bill and stands, taking your hand. I suppose we should return to attend business. And our daughter and Liam went on a lunch date in the capital. Also that. But uh, before we go... Yes? He takes your hand and pulls you in for a brief but passionate kiss. You're starry-eyed as he wraps an arm around your waist and walks with you from the restaurant. I hope we get many more nights like tonight. And soon. When you return to the palace, the members of the Royal Council all draw together for the State of the Union. You hurry to your waiting friends and embrace them one by one. I'm sure Riley and Liam will bring Princess Amanda back for more admiration soon. That's very polite of you, Hannah, but we wouldn't want to hold the two of you up. The Royal Council can hardly meet without you. That's very thoughtful of you. My daughter is an important woman now. We're so proud of your daughter. Thank you. As the council members all take their places around the table, everyone else's eyes fall on the Liam. Since the council last convened, a criminal has been unmasked in our kingdom. After years of searching, I finally learned that my mother, Queen Eleanor, was poisoned by none other than Duke Godfrey. And, if that wasn't enough, he used his classified knowledge of new security system to escape the palace while endangering Queen Riley's life. And the life of our child. And now, we need to find him. The borders are being watched. We're confident he's still somewhere in Cordonia. It's been weeks. What exactly are we going to do to find him? It's already dispatched several King's Guard. But we're hitting a dead end. Most people are too afraid to speak with us. Particularly with Avenue's honored guard using every last intimidation tactic in the book. The nobles don't feel compelled to be forthcoming with guards that uh, they outrank. Maybe we can help. It's customary for a new heir to tour the provinces so they can meet the people of their duchy and be honored by the Duke or Duke Duchess. A true. A uh, tour is a time on the tradition. Oh, we are bringing Codonia together. My god, we've had like 12 of these. Then why not go now? Amanda can meet her people. Riley and Liam can enjoy the trip. And bring the full power of the crown to this investigation. Oh my god, we're doing this again. For the love of Christ. Tour will be your perfect chance to investigate Godfrey, but will all the duchies welcome you with open arms? Who's tired of this shit? Who is really tired of this book? 
I know a lot of you have come to me and left also comments in the comment section saying, wow, they are really milking this shit. They are milking every single bloody ounce of this love that we had for these characters and this, this story to the point that we are going to get to the point where we're just tired of this crap. I mean, it's just touring and kissing everyone's ass, literally and figuratively, and no one's even going to talk about the fact that, you know, we, we have another issue where we've already sold or pawned off our daughter. Like, for the love of Christ. Anyway. Oh, without further ado, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Add now description below, links to social media, Discord. And if you like support yours truly, it's very much appreciated. Without further ado, I will catch you all in the next video. Have a good one and a good weekend.